even when there is no school fees in the village, it's the boy town who is paying for school fees first, which is fine. But look at the results of the study eight now this year. That men, that is now the representation, the, the representation of men, those are the boy town in study eight, have been won by Marx, by the girl town. So what are we saying? That even if we are told we are enemies of each other, we have changed. Women have changed. We are not fighting each other anymore. We have even said it right here, that we will support each other, we will fight the enemy together, and the enemy is fighting each other. So we have decided that we will meet the one third gender rule in Ebu, and also in Kenya, and we will stop fighting each other. And we will ask men to stop fighting, because men fight physically, and women fight verbally. So we want to encourage each one of us, like the churches have said, we will encourage each other not to fight, but to support the ones who are qualified to serve this nation. This passage shows clearly that from the beginning, God created men and women as equals and gave them the same assignment. It is, men, it is men's rules and the process of socialization that has over the years brought about the disparities and injustices that we witness today between men and women. The conference also stands with the families of the foreign soldiers in Somalia in their line of duty protecting our honorable motherland Kenya. We pray and condole with the families and pray that God comforts them at this difficult time. 